Hey, guess whose house might actually have to hit the auction, though? Who? Antonio Brown. Oh, no, not he, CTE SPN. Woo! He's broke as a joke. He's broke as a joke. He filed bankruptcy, and in the paperwork, said he only has $50,000 in assets. He owes people millions of dollars. That's never a good ratio. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, and I, you know, I'd be lying if I told you I ain't never made poor decisions with money myself. Yeah. But I know this much. If you owe people millions and you got less than 50000 that's a bad combination. Yeah. That's probably how you end up having to file bankruptcy. How's this story end, Antonio Brown? Do you think, do you think you'll ever be sitting around in, say, 30 years and you'll be like, Antonio Brown, he's doing good now. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. It's, it's over. I knew it was, I knew it was over not when the baby mama incidents popped off. He had a football team. I'm not sure if it was Canadian football, Arena League. He had some football team, and he got rid of the championship-winning head coach right when he got there, and I think he moved the MVP quarterback to the bench, and then he stopped paying everybody. I was like, oh, this man is not right in the head anymore. Okay. He's done. This he's is done. this is the most bananas part of all this, other than, like, you know, he's allegedly done some really bad things to people. Yes. Horrible stuff. Yes. This is the craziest financial decision, or just at least maybe this, this is exactly how you go broke. So in March of last year, this is what you're referencing, I think. He buys 47.5% of the Albany there we go. Empire. There they go. For $350,000. Yep. All right. He buys a football team for $350,000. But he got fined $1,000 for, like, being Antonio Brown. He refused to pay the fine. They kicked him out of the league. He paid $350,000 for a football team and then got the football team kicked out of the league because he wouldn't pay a $1,000 fine. Yeah, That's when you know you're not dealing with the brightest guy. Also, in that he he hinted at or he made it seem like he was going to come and play one weekend. Yeah, so, and he, he and, didn't. And, and, and to didn't, your point, he didn't pay the coaches. He didn't pay the coaches, and he didn't play in that game. Didn't pay the coaches, didn't pay the players. I don't think he paid the custodians. He didn't pay anybody. He owes a diamond jeweler $1.1 million. Okay. Because he got two diamond fingers. You familiar with diamond fingers? No. What diamond? It's like he. It's like a, it looks like um, <laughs> like a, it looks like a finger sleeve, but a it's diamond. diamond. Yeah, he got two of them for one point one million dollars, but never paid for them. Diamond fingers. Diamond fingers. What are you going? You can't. You can't. You can't bend your finger, so you can't use that hand at all. It doesn't look like he. Well, he's just got it on this finger. On this finger here. So this. Oh, there we go. Check him out. There's. An, like, for what? I don't know. I don't know that's, for That's what. how you go broke. That's how you go that's broke. That's how you go broke. That's how you go broke. We need a TV show called That's How You Go Broke. Well, how about this? I work with, um, you know, former NBA players, yeah. like guys who have made, you know, $80 million, $100 million. And it, it's funny, like, their perspective on this because we got into a conversation one night and there's a handful of guys that all made, like, a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. And... Um, they were talking about teammates going broke and like how sad it was and sort of where the conversation settled. They said, you always hear people who don't know. They'll see these guys' houses and these guys' cars and they'll say, well, that's how you go broke. Look at him. He had four houses and seven cars. And you know what they said to me? What? GP, do you know how much money we make? The problem is never four houses <laughs> yeah. and it's never seven cars. <laughs> we could buy four houses in a year. We have so much money. You know, you know what they said. They, they, every teammate I had that got, went broke, they said this is they fall into these categories. They either started making terrible investments, mm. like instead of buying fifteen Papa John's franchises, they start a record label. Gotcha. All right, it's that kind of stuff. It's um, gambling. Yeah, they gamble it away, or um, it's too many children with too many women. different women. Yep. Right. He said that's. This is what I they said. They, they, when it's never, it is never the cars and the houses. If all you do is buy nice houses and buy nice cars, you'll stay rich forever. Yeah. It's it's the other stuff that that can just like I had one former NBA player. He said I could find out. He, he said I could find out my wife is cheating on me with you, 
and we're just staying married. <laughs> He said, there's nothing. He said, there's no way. Financially, wife. man. He said, it's just a mistake. He said, that's how you go broke. You go broke. Too many marriages and divorces, mm -hmm. kids with different women. That's where they'll get you. The houses are never the problem. Yeah. The cars are never the problem. That's pennies compared to where you really get hit. And Antonio Brown has had problems in every one of these. Every single <laughs> Every category. One. Every one. And he might, like, say, not might, like, he seems like he's not okay. Yeah. Like, he, like. You can't do the things he's consistently done if you are. There's no impulse control there. There's just like there's something not right yeah. with it. It's a sad story. I don't feel bad for him because it's all self-inflicted. You know, like, yo, man, people have tried to help you and you've yeah. pushed it away at every turn. Tom Brady brought you into his home and you blew that up. Like Tom Brady brought this guy into his home and you blew that up. So I don't feel sorry for him. But I think the, this can be true. You could not feel sorry for somebody but still go. But man, that's sad. Yeah. This guy made his career earnings in the NFL is like nearly $90 million. And as of May 2024, he's got like less than 50 grand. Like most people in this building right now have more money than Antonio Brown. Yeah, that's bad. Anytime I have almost as much money as you, <laughs> like you're, you're in a tough spot, dog. It's a tough spot. It's, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. So, uh, you know, I wish him luck or I don't, however, whatever I'm supposed yeah, to whatever say. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. I guess it's not going to change my life too much. The Gary Parish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m.